In this example, we're going to be given several graphical aspects of a hyperbola, and we're going to try to find the equation of the hyperbola. In this example, we're going to be finding the equation of the hyperbola with foci located at negative 2, negative 1, and negative 2, 9, with a vertex at negative 2, 0. So first thing I'd like to do is sketch sort of a general picture of what this is going to look like. We have a focus at negative 2, negative 1. We have another focus at negative 2, positive 9, way up here. And we have a vertex at negative 2, 0. Now, once again, this isn't really a uh, complete uh, set of data for us here, but uh, we're going to do our best anyway. So normally we would see five points along the transverse axis here with two foci on the outside, two vertices slightly to the inside, and then smack dab in the middle, we should see a center. So as such, I think that we can probably try to figure out where those other two points are. So as far as the other points are concerned, the center is going to be located at the midpoint between the two foci. So we're going to use the midpoint formula to find that. Now we know where the two foci are, which is good news for us. So that'll be negative 2 plus negative 2 all over 2. We'll also have negative 1 plus 9 all over 2. That midpoint is going to be negative 2, 4 after we simplify each of those. As far as the other vertex is concerned, the piece of information that we're going to use is that the distance between this focus and this vertex was the same as the distance between negative 2, negative 1, and negative 2, 0. If we move the y-coordinate up by 1, that lets us know that that distance is 1. Therefore, this distance is going to be 1 as well. So starting from that top focus, we're going to move down one unit. Moving down one unit would put us at the ordered pair negative 2, 8. <clears throat> now that gives us all of the information that we need to go ahead and proceed with the same three things that we're going to use every time. The first one will be the significant point. The significant point for us is the center, and we were able to figure that out already as being negative 2, 4. Now the other thing that that means is as we're moving toward our final answer, I will expect to see that there will be an x plus 2 and a y minus 4 as part of the final answer. Next up, the orientation of the hyperbola. We can see all five of these points lie on the same vertical line, so this one is going to be a vertical transverse axis. Now the vertical transverse axis lets us know that the standard form of the equation of this hyperbola is going to see the y variable above the a value and the x variable above the b value. And again, the thing that we'll see inside these parentheses will be an x plus 2 and a y minus 4 once we get to it. And finally, the significant distances. As a reminder of what these are, this would be A, B, and C. A represents the distance from a center to a vertex. B represents the center to a covertex. And C represents the center to a focus. Now, two of these we can get directly from the graph. The center is at 2, 4. The distance to either of the foci would be the same as the distance from 4 to 9 or from 4 to negative 1. And in either of those cases, that would be equal to 5. Literally just said focus. What are you doing, Professor Friday? Come on now. Guess I couldn't focus. Oh boy, this is going to be a long day. Uh, the distance from the center to a vertex would be the same as the distance from either 4 to 8 or from 4 to 0. That lets us know that our a value is going to be 4. Once we have two of these values, we'll be able to get the other value by making use of the Pythagorean theorem. That will be a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, as it is for hyperbolas. That will be 4 squared plus 3 squared. Oh, sorry, spoiler alert, that's about to be 3 squared. Uh, well, might as well let the cat out of the bag now. 
25 minus 16 will give us 9 as we're solving for b squared, and that lets us know that b is going to be equal to 3. Now that we have all of these pieces of information, we should be able to answer the big important question, which is going to be what is the equation? I mentioned earlier, vertical transverse axis means that this will take on the following form. And then we'll actually plug in all of the things that we now know. So plugging in all of the things that we know, y minus k, that's going to be y minus 4, over a squared, which is 16, minus x plus 2, all over b squared, which is 9, will be equal to 1. So here's our final answer for our hyperbola.